Let's say you had the equation of two lines and you wanted to find out where they intersected. One way to do that is to graph them. So what I'm going to do is set up a set of axes to do so. I want you to do the same thing on your paper. Alright, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video and continue to set up your axes. Now that you have that set up, we're going to go ahead and graph these. I'm going to do the top one in green. So we have y equals 3x minus 1. The negative 1 tells us where to start on the y-axis. So I'm going to put a point at negative 1. The 3 tells us how it's going to grow. So we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1. And we're going to continue to do this. Up 3, 1, 2, 3, to the right 1. And we can even go backwards. We can go down 1, 2, 3, and left 1. And as soon as you kind of get the idea of what's happening, you can go ahead and connect those points with a line. For the next one, I want you to go ahead and try it yourself. Go ahead and pause the video and do it on your paper. All right. Hopefully you have it done. I'm going to go ahead and do it in red so you can check your work. The 7 tells us to start at on the y-axis at 7, so up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's our first point. The negative 2 tells us how it grows, so it's going down 1, 2, to the right 1. Down 1, 2, to the right 1, and so on. We'll go ahead and connect those. Oops. So something like that. And we can kind of see where the point of intersection is. I'm going to put it down in blue. The problem is, is that we don't know exactly where that's at. It looks like it's a little bit before 2 on the x, and maybe it's at 1, 2, at 4, but we don't quite know for sure. Luckily, we can use graphing technology to do this problem for us. If you have a graphing calculator, you can do it on there. But since you're on a computer, I'll show you another way you can do it. There's going to be another video that shows you how to download a program called GeoGebra. GeoGebra is going to let us do all this right on the computer. So if you don't have GeoGebra installed, go ahead and take, try to find that video and get it installed and then come back. All right, now that you've got GeoGebra installed, you should have a screen that looks something like this. One thing that is kind of missing is there's no grid marks. So we can go up here to view and turn on the grid. Now that looks more like a graph. The other thing we can do is right now it's counting by twos. So if we kind of zoom in, you can use your mouse wheel to do this. You can either zoom out or you can zoom in. And I want us to zoom in far enough so that we start seeing it starts counting by ones. All right, so the next thing is we've got to tell it what to graph. So the first equation is y equals 3x minus 1. So we're going to type that in down here at the bottom. My video cut it off, but there should be a place to type at the bottom of the screen. Just type in y equals, we just like enter, it says. It then hit enter. We do the same thing for the other equation. y equals negative 2x plus 7. All right, so we got them both graphed. It looks like they intersect, but somewhere up here. So what we can do is click on this Move button, and that lets us drag and figure out uh, where we want to look. So I'm kind of dragging, and I want to drag to where they both inter they intersect each other. And now I can kind of see, yeah, it's somewhere between 1 and 2, and it's somewhere between 4 and 5. And if I want to find out where exactly that is, I go up here to my Point tool, 
and this lets me put a new point wherever I click and I want to click where these two lines intersect notice how when I hover over them they both turn kind of darker and I'm gonna click and if I look over here to the left it tells me where that point is at 1.2 comma 4.6 so that's my answer 1.2 comma 4.6 <clears throat> and just remember that the 1.2 is the value of the x and the 4.6 is the value of the y that makes both of these equations true